Hello you, welcome to Geekism, you join me again in Pinewood Hills, episode 10, we're into double figures. Uh, some slight bad news this week, unfortunately the video is a little shorter, and we don't get as much done as I would have liked to. Unfortunately I've been having a bit of a crazy crash in Planet Coaster. Uh, it seems to always happen around using the uh, multi-select tool and the, and the sort of fine tuning widget thing. Uh, I've reported it, and I know other people have been having a bit of an issue, I know SB Ridley's been mentioning it lately as well. Uh, hopefully it gets patched out uh, soon, uh, but it does mean that I lost quite a bit of, uh, of work that was going to be this episode. The episode was going to be decorating the chairplane ride queue. Uh, unfortunately, it was all lost. Uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't mega happy with what I'd done anyway, so it's not an awful thing that I've lost it, but we'll have to go back at another time and, uh, and sort that out. So in the meantime, there's uh, pretty much everything else I filmed this week, uh, which is a little bit of utility stuff in the front area, and then we're going to cut to a live section where we're going to do a little bit of work on the backstage just to kind of flesh the video out really and uh, and uh, make it so that I can be able to have a chat with you guys. We're starting off here with a few old school telephone booths, these sort of things that often crop up in parks, very rarely used anymore, but they're just still left there because you never know when you're going to need a payphone. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to then move over to a section where we build some lockers, do a little bit of work in the arcades, and then I'll come back to you with a live section where we're going to do some backstage work. In the meantime, here's a bit of music, and I'll, let, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. <laughs>
so there we go a few more utilities in telephone booth and lockers again of course need that work uh, one thing we do need is uh, a locker rental sign above the, uh, the store so let's put um, one of those in got to do uh, like I said in the time lapse got to do a little bit live today just to kind of because uh, uh, unfortunately a lot of footage was lost uh, annoyingly yeah you know, it's one of those things you know these things happen um, there's a nice uh, we've used it a couple of times but it's one of my favorite signs uh, that sort of fits this sort of generic theme um, and that's this one so we're gonna uh, I actually quite like the colors to be honest but I'm gonna do uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, I think we need a different font. Ooh. Uh, no. One thing this game really needs is some cool new fonts. I actually probably think that one is the best. I know that's more meant to be like the Wild Westy one, but uh, I actually think that's probably the better one, especially with this kind of sign. So let's come halfway in. And you can go there. Uh, and then if we go to the smaller themed sign, yeah, that one. And add you. And you can be a similar-ish kind of colour. And you can say uh, rental here with a different font, yep. Yeah. Uh, make you white or grey at least. Um, actually, no, white is probably going to be better. Okay, it needs to be darker, much better. Okay, let's try and get a, yeah, there we go. Okay, so watch if you have a little, and duplicate you, put you over here as well. And there's our locker's rental here, there we go, good stuff. So now we've got locker rental, we'll do a bit of lighting in there off the camera. So, um, a few little bits then that we worked on in the time lapse, you very quickly saw us do a little change machine there, but a few other bits we've been working on off camera as well. So I've done an air hockey table, uh, really simple, kind of modern sort of, uh, you know, sort of 80s design, uh, real like that's turned out pretty well. And uh, the other ones I've done off camera uh, were the uh, pinball machine, uh, uh, we've done a Dance Dance Revolution game called Dance Dance Boys and uh, Racy Mates. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen these this week. I did post those up once they were done. Uh, and then we've just sort of rearranged the place really to fit everything in. It's really nice and packed in there. It looks uh, much more like what I envisioned when I first started working on uh, an arcade. You want it really packed, just stuff thrown around, you know, new stuff comes in the front, the older stuff just gets tucked towards the back, you know, uh, and they never actually get rid of anything. Uh, somebody mentioned that in one of the comments, actually. These sort of parks never get rid of anything. I think that's a really good point, um, and that's something we're going to be uh, basing the next bit that we're going to do on, uh, which is over here. We're going to be building a sort of storage area, a storage space for just sort of bits of crap, to be honest. So we're going to go in here. I'll do a little bit of it on camera, I think, before I, uh, before I sign off. So um, concrete and we want this to be a really horrible concrete building like just a little bit nasty um, kind of thing really so we're gonna go we'll, we'll move it around a little in a moment but I'm thinking that sort of size there uh, with one of you yeah above okay and then we'll come in uh, three by three I feel is probably about the right sort of size for this yeah um, okay, so let's put it where it's going to go, because it isn't going to go here. It's going to go, oops, it's not going to get down either. Um, it's going to go, hmm, not going to be able to make it work with the, although we could stick it in that corner, I guess, and have the path come round to it. Yeah, let's do that then. Let's stick it here. In fact, let's stick it there, and we can actually get rid of that bit of fencing. And that will, and this will become basically the uh, the exterior wall. So I get rid of all of you. That makes more sense. This actually is the uh, the second time I've built this. If I'm honest with you, um, that's because uh, the uh, the game crashed. So this is what I uh, this is what I lost. But it's okay. It could have been worse. It wasn't completely done. That's the wrong piece. Uh, it wasn't completely uh, finished. So I don't actually mind too much. Uh, and it's also why I thought I'd do a little bit on camera as well, because I've got a bit of an idea of what it was looking like, because, like I say, we'd already, uh, we'd already built most of it. Uh, so I'm going to build, uh, oops, that there. And 
Hmm, I originally had that coming up. So let's do that. Oops. No, I don't want that to join off. Let's just, yeah, actually that is enough. There we go. We can have a little bit of a, uh, yeah, okay, got it. This isn't quite how I had it originally, so I'm quite happy that that's, I found that because that actually really works quite well. Um, roof wise, we're going to go for a, uh, you need to all move because you're not quite on the right grid. There we go. I'm going to go for a s interesting sort of flat roof. So uh, not quite flat roof, sorry, is what I mean. So we're going to go there and there. And then on this side, we're going to go there and there and up one like this. And then we can duplicate. In fact, we can delete you. Um, put you in on this side like that. And then here we can do it too. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then roofs. There is a, a corrugated roof uh, that's gross. And I can't think what you would use it for. Maybe. Oh, well, we've used it in the past for like Western stuff, actually. So I guess it works quite nicely for that. But it's also really good for this kind of stuff where um, the whole building's a little ropey. Uh, so let's just film you in there. And. Hopefully we can make it so that there's a very small gap left at the top there. Yeah, for ventilation. That's perfect. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to be our building. What's that look like from the park? Gross. I love it. So what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of grassery here. A little bit of grassery. I think I've just made a word up. Never mind. Uh, decorations. Uh, sorry. Doors. There's a great big panel door that we can use for this. Yeah, there we go. So we'll have, I mean, it's actually probably not quite wide enough to have two of them yet. So let's think what we can do here. I'll tell you what, uh, if in doubt, we'll make it a uh, we'll make it a sliding panel door using some rails. Like this. Bring them in there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we've got a sliding panel door then, and we'll, I might do some entrance uh, stuff on the inside there, but I'm not going to be doing that just yet. Um, so here, what can we, um, ah, do you know what, I had this idea the other day, I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Uh, somebody mentioned the idea of having some old sort of coasters and cars and track and things like that. Uh, and I think uh, the coast would be a good idea, although you never can quite get them just right using art pieces and stuff. But one thing I had an idea was, is if we go to something simple like let's do an, a looping arrow because there is going to be one of these in the park it's going to be our sort of uh, 70s expansion sort of sort of area okay so let's that's lined up pretty well there let's come over here and we'll come as a regular track we'll make you oops no we don't do that we'll make it quite short and we'll put it on a bit of an angle okay so we now do something like this and then oh I think what we do need to do actually is turn off yeah turn off them get rid of you and click done and uh, we now have there we go we now have a piece of track okay that was a little easier than I thought it was gonna be to be honest I thought that would be a bit trickier so now what we can do uh, is we can have a bit of track just kind of left line up against the uh, against the coaster against against the the um, whatever it's called <laughs> um, I might do another one of those that was oh no I'll tell you what we'll do in this in scenery there are some railway tracks we could use some of those because um, we are gonna have a railway in here at some point um, track yeah there we go locomotive track was a bit bigger than I thought but that's okay actually um, let's do Something like this. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll have we'll kind of fill this space with. I notice we're still on grass here, so we are going to do something about that in a moment. Um, we're not going to be able to get tarmac down here, unfortunately, because it's just a bit too uh, fiddly with the pass system. But I think the um, the terrain paints, the rock terrain paint, won't be 
too bad. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Like the area is a bit unfinished, um, but I, I, I feel like that's uh, accessible. That one's no, that one's too rough. It's got to be that one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have you there. All right. Yeah. Good. Good. Um, go back to scenery a second, and we'll have some. Uh, let's have a think. There is a shovel. I'm sure. Yeah. There we go. It's a prospector's shovel, but it'll uh, it'll work well here. I think. There we go. I'm gonna put too much stuff around because it starts to look like it's themed. Then you know. But a little shovel isn't too bad. Um, there is also rubble now, I think. So we've got shovels and rubbles. How do we spell rubble? It's double B. There we go. So we have you. Drop you down to be a much darker colour. Uh, this is the sort of thing we can have just sort of potted around here under the bits. Um, all this stuff has been here for quite a while. Yeah, there we go. Um, what else would we like to see? Let's have a think. Um, what about some pallets? Let's do a pallet. Um, okay, so uh, let's use the new spooky ones because they're really nice and straight. Uh, but the colour's a bit off. It needs to be a fair bit lighter. What about you? So even the light. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're not actually on a we're actually on a building here. Let's get into a building. Good. Okay, so we'll bring you up a little bit extra because we're going to have to have the piece underneath. Um, let's get the plank in so we can see how long the actual plank is. Uh, yeah, these ones are going to be great because they're just um, the straight, basically the straightest bit in the uh, in the park. There we go. In the park, in the game. Hopefully, this will tie itself all together pretty nicely. I think it will. There we go. And then we'll duplicate you up. And across. Yeah. And then, how many of these are we going to get in? Four. Two. Three. Or almost perfectly and then we'll wrap a couple of these around just to keep a bit of variation turn one over oh same on both sides okay we'll tell you what we'll do turn you around as well there we go uh, and then we'll have you uh, pallets there three aren't they I only know this so we're going to supermarkets you see them all the time um, and then we need to Put one of you on the bottom as well. Let's look at that. Good. That's, that's a pretty good looking palette. Okay, so we don't really know uh, particularly what these are used for in this park, in this space, but uh, it's the sort of thing you definitely see in the uh, in the back of spaces. So we'll have a few of these stacked up. There we go. Uh, on, we might as well go a bit higher with them, haven't we? These are probably used for you know bringing in uh, supplies from the uh, the stores or supplies to the stores, uh, nothing like that. I tell you what, we'll have one more um, leaning up against the uh, leaning up against the wall there. Oops. Yeah, X axis is a little off with this one. That's all right. Well, that way, and down. So it's sitting on the ground. There we go. These might move a little bit depending on the, uh, the, the the scenery stuff I do here. But yeah, there we go. We've got some pallets on the way in there as well. Excuse me a second. <coughs> okay, cool. Right, I'm going to leave that there. It gives you a bit of an idea. We're doing a bit more work. Somebody else uh, suggested having like uh, golf buggies as well, which I think is a great idea. So uh, I'll probably put some of them here as well, and we'll carry on with the uh, with the parking like we've done up there for, along this back wall or something. But uh, there we go. Let's give you a bit of an idea. There we go. We've got a bit of steel. So obviously, you know, this this coaster isn't in the park yet, but it will be eventually. Uh, it might not be red, so we might have to come back and change this colour depending on what we build. We are going to build a, a looping coaster, but we've got some train track there as well. You know, a little shovel hunt up some pallets. Gives you a bit of an idea. It's an ugly building. 
doesn't look very nice at all, but it's uh, it's definitely sort of uh, service over style, you know. It does exactly what it says on the tin. In the uh, in the time lapse, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this was the area I had worked on. And this lovely little tiered garden down here, and it all got wiped in the uh, in the crash. So never mind. But we'll, I, I just can't bring myself to doing it again right now. So we'll probably do that in the next episode. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T Sparrow. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.